I started in fashion back in 2007, I dropped out of college because I always had a love for fashion and I was never able to really explore it because it wasn't necessarily an option for me. My parents were really strict on going to college and walking the line of academics, which I was never good at. I've always had a true love for fashion uh, ever since I was younger, ever since I could remember. And that was actually something that people did uh, and went to school for. So I dropped out, went to fashion school, got my associate's degree in fashion, learned how to sew, learned how to make patterns, learned how to grade, all that fun stuff. After that, I dropped out of fashion school as well. And I kept dropping in and out of fashion school because I wanted to get my feet wet as much as possible, as soon as possible. So I figured uh, I start my own t-shirt brand as well, and that's what I did. I started my clothing brand in 2010. By the end of that year, I had already collaborated with Urban Outfitters, had a ton of fashion shows in San Francisco, got a lot of press, and got recognized as best emerging fashion designer coming out of San Francisco, which was pretty awesome. That was very validating towards my creativity and also what I could do in fashion. I knew then after that I could truly follow my creativity and motivation to create something beautiful. So that's why I'm in fashion. Confidence to me means preparation and practice. Without practice or preparation, you can't really be confident at anything. You have to go on some kind of excursion. Uh, so you really have to dive deep into the subject to know what you're good and what you're not good at and also if you truly love what you're doing. Uh, for me, gaining my confidence was making a lot of fashion mistakes, being bold with what I wore and what I believed in, and also always looking for inspiration to inspire me to enhance the way I feel inside, uh, which then leads to radiating on the outside of what you wear. Don't be afraid to explore, especially the young people, because it's just clothes. You're only in that outfit for 24 hours, and that's it. There's no really looking back. So don't be afraid to make fashion mistakes. My pointers on being a gentleman is just follow the old rules and don't think about it too much and you kind of have to embed it in your DNA. I don't think that a gentleman is going to be categorized as dressing a certain way or talking a certain way. It's all about action. So if you're going to be a gentleman, it's all about action. I think being a gentleman comes from within. It's more of how you act on these rules and kind of put your own personal taste on them. So I don't necessarily think you should follow any kind of agenda on how to be anything because at the end of the day, we're all human. <laughs> I don't necessarily have limits with scissors. It's something that is so easy and it could transform something from being very, very boring and plain and mediocre to something very energetic and powerful and amazing and individual. So for me, cutting the hems off my slacks is something very fun and it's something a little bit edgy. It's like against the law that I can get away with because it's my own personal style, which is really fun. I've gotten a lot of praise for it, but I've also gotten a lot of heat from it, which I don't really care about. Uh, both are always welcome because for me, it's an opportunity to share what my perspective is and why I do it. And if I don't have a reason why I do it, it doesn't really matter. You don't really need a reason, it's fashion. Just be yourself and just do things, just do things spontaneous and don't think too much about it and keep expectations very low.